Hey folks, it's time again for eBay Mail Day. I got quite a few cards to share with you, so we'll go ahead and just jump right into it. First up is just going to be another Sauce Gardener Prism Red, White, and Blue. This is the second one of these that I picked up. I was able to get this one for right around $5.50. Still waiting to see if there's going to be a little bit of bump from Hard Knocks. We're about midway through the series, so we'll see how that does the rest of the preseason. Ended up getting a really good deal on this Photo negative, Drake London. This is going to be a Prism Silver as well. Looking about $3 on this one. A lot of hype for the Falcons this offseason, so we'll see how that does. Ended up winning a $0.99 cent auction for this A.J. Dillon. This is going to be the Orange Laser Prism. These aren't numbered, but I got this one for a $1.25 at auction. $0.99 cents for shipping, right around $2 there. I think that's a really solid deal. Not a bad color match for the Packers either. Then some pretty good timing on this next one. Going to be a Darius Fountain Prism Auto. Ended up getting this one at auction for about $2.50. This was just before he had a breakout preseason game with the Bears. Had pretty close to 100 yards. Really good timing on that. Might be something that I go ahead and flip. Wouldn't be an eBay mail day if I didn't pick up another Mosaic Trevor Lawrence. Going to be the base. Picking these up quite a bit for about $3.50 a piece. Next card is going to be one of those where I bought the parallel and not necessarily the player. But I was able to get this retail red. This is the true red super short print of Chubba Hubbard. Got this one for $0.99 cents plus $4.50 for shipping. So all in about $5.50. I think this should be a pretty good flip. I'd expect to get about like $20 on something like this. Then I had a little two-card lot. Going to be a, a Trevor Lawrence mosaic base, along with a Derek Stingley auto. Ended up getting these on best offers for about $7 total. Game plan is going to be to see if we can sell that Stingley, make all our money back on that one, and make that Trevor Lawrence free. But I thought for $7, combined shipping on that, not too bad. Then the next few cards are going to be out of Bowman University. Wanted to make sure that I picked up a few cards before the start of college football. First up is going to be a Peyton Thorn. This is going to be the Bowman Yellow, numbered out of 75. He got named the starting quarterback for Auburn, and I actually had a really solid Com C flip on one of his base autographs. I was able to pick this one up for $7. We'll see if we can turn this into a pretty good flip. Then next up is a Daquan Finn. This is going to be a Bowman's Best U Blue Refractor. And that is going to be numbered out of 150. A little bit of hype for Toledo this offseason. About $3 on this one. I thought it was, you know, worth the risk. Then next up is going to be a couple autographs of the same player. First one is going to be a Bowman Base Cade McNamara. This is a pretty good pickup for... You know, just under $7. Transferred to the University of Iowa in the offseason, and a lot of fans are hoping that he can really turn that offense around. Last season, it was historically bad, which is kind of frustrating because, you know, Iowa had a really solid defense, one of the top in the nation. But if he can get the Iowa offense to, you know, even average, he's going to have a pretty big following this season. And then next up is going to be another Cade McNamara. But this is going to be the Bowman's Best Refractor. Was able to get this one for $12.50 plus $5 shipping, right around $17, $18 here. Big reason why this one's going to be worth more than the base Bowman is just because he's in that Hawkeyes uniform. A lot of Hawkeyes fans, if they are looking for guys on their team, they're looking for them to be specifically in that college uni. So pretty happy with the pickup on this one. Definitely excited to see how the Hawkeyes do this year. Then our last six cards are going to be what happens when you're bidding on a lot of 99-cent auctions. You get beat out on most of them, and this is what goes wrong. It's going to be a group of six cards paid about $17 on these. First up is going to be a couple Trevor Lawrence Prism inserts. Had the break and then the new recruits. Got these for $0.99 cents a piece. But we paid $7.50 for six cards to ship, so about a dollar and a quarter per card. 
These aren't bad at right around like 99 cents to, you know, like maybe a dollar 50. But at two and a quarter, it's kind of rough. Uh, hard to make a, any money on something like these. So we might break even on these two. Going to be something similar for the Desmond Ritter here too. Definitely wanted to get this at a deeper discount for shipping. But not too bad on this one. I've been wanting to pick up a few of these before the season starts. But then I kind of saved it towards the end here. I had originally bid on something like 20 different cards. Was able to snag a few down the stretch to make it worth my while. Got the De'Aaron Fox. This is going to be the purple fast break. Numbered out of 95. Very cool color match on this one. Was definitely happy with that one. And then also, too, I'm a Grizzlies fan. So getting the Xavier Tillman. Purple fast break as well. That one's numbered out of 95. Thought that was a pretty good deal. That might be a PC card there. And then the last card is going to be another one of those where I bought the parallel and not necessarily the player on the card. Going to be a UFC Black Velocity Optic. Numbered out of 39. Got this one pretty cheap as well. I know literally nothing about UFC, but I do know that Optic Black Velocity, definitely a desirable parallel. So we'll see if I make a couple bucks back on that one. But I would say as a whole for that lot, I had to kind of clutch up down the stretch because those were the last three cards that I won. If I was paying like $5 shipping for those three, oh, uh, that would have been rough. But folks, that is going to do it for all of my eBay pickups over this past week. If you haven't already done so, make sure you go ahead and like the video, subscribe, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.